We're out here at Ford Motor Proving Grounds, and you got that beautiful car back there. Tell me about it. Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's pretty impressive, actually. It's a Ford uh, Mustang that is equipped with uh, an ASM system, which is the paddle shifter uh, that Ford Advanced Powertrain has kindly taken out of their Aston Martin Vanquish mm -hmm. and fitted it to our Mustang uh, and to a Mustang engine, a 4.6 liter engine. Because uh, there's just not many paraplegics that can get out and get in one of these cars. You need that uh, shifter that your hand controls and that's really some engineering feat they come up with. Absolutely. It's, I, I know a number of paraplegics that race different kinds of cars, but they're all automatics yeah. and they all struggle to keep up with the guys that are in the right. manual transmissions. From the outside, you cannot tell that this is adaptive technology. No. It, it looks the same, it sounds the same, uh, and it functions absolutely the same. It just has uh, electrohydraulic assist to, to make right. the transitions. You know, I'd like to go and see, you know, some of the things you've done to the car, they've done for you. Can you take a minute and show us? Absolutely. My father, Tom Holfelder, who has an engineering background, designed the brake throttle system for this car. Uh, and uh, Ford Advanced Powertrain has provided us with transmissions and the shifter mechanism out of an Aston Martin Vanquish, which Ford owns. And it's very, very simple. This ring behind the steering wheel is throttle. Uh, and it's literally fingertip control. I can actuate it with one finger. You push on the steering wheel for braking, and that's purely mechanical, goes straight down to where the, the brake pedal for the car would be. And then it's got what we call a paddle shifter, only we've changed it from paddles behind the wheel to thumb switches. And all I do to upshift is roll my thumb in on this side, and to downshift, I click this switch. And then the computer in the car does the rest of the work of opening and closing throttle, opening and closing the clutch, uh, and changing gear for me. And that's it. Well, Kara Holfelder was famous before from horseback riding. And your question, can you tell me a little about that? Carol? I started out horseback riding when I was about 10 years old uh, and was primarily interested in hunters and jumpers. Mm -hmm. And I was working my way up and had just started uh, running on the national circuit when I was injured in a motorcycle accident at 18. Uh, but horses were my life before mm -hmm. my accident. Uh, so I like to say that I used to compete with one horse and now I compete with 500. Yeah. How did you transfer into car racing? Uh, it, my family's always been involved uh, with cars. Uh, ever since I was little, I've loved cars. Um, I've, I've wanted a Mustang ever since I was, you know, a little kid. And uh, my, my parents uh, vintage race. And mm -hmm. since my dad knew I liked cars, he figured he would just transition me from competing on horseback to competing in the cars. Mm -hmm. And so we started looking for, you know, what could I drive yeah. uh, and be competitive in. And it was, he was actually the one who designed the brake throttle system for my car. Uh, so it's with my, my parents' support and guidance that mm -hmm. we kind of transitioned into the, to the car racing. Now you're getting ready to go on the circuit, right? We just started uh, the World Challenge season in March at Sebring. Mm -hmm. uh, we are generally a support race for the American Le Mans series, and we run all over the country and in Canada. How many disabled race car drivers do we have out there? And if we have any, how many do we have that are women? God, I don't think I know of any other woman with a disability yeah. racing anywhere. Right. Uh, there's there's at least a couple dozen guys running in various uh, series. Mm -hmm. uh, I know uh, Lance Megan and Evan Evans mm -hmm. and Alex Zanardi have started racing again. Mm -hmm. Uh, but I don't know of any women. You know, here you are at the Ford Motor and this Ford Mobility program. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Well, I actually, uh, Ford Mobility uh, uh, program uh, has been in place for, I think, since 1992. And what they do is they assist people in getting into uh, new Ford vehicles. Mm -hmm. And uh, what they do is they'll provide uh, up to $1,000 reimbursement mm -hmm. for adaptive equipment mm -hmm. for people with disabilities. So, you know, new cars cost a lot of money, adaptive equipment costs a lot of money, and so that, that extra incentive mm -hmm. uh, can, can get somebody with a disability like us behind the wheel again. I think that uh, it's just fantastic that you can get Ford Motor Company 
they come out and really realize that uh, with the engineering that they have here, to be able to build something that'll do that transmission, it's just fantastic. Absolutely, and and when we first uh, you know started working with Advanced Powertrain and uh, Ford has given us so much uh, support through their program. We wondered what we could do in return, and that's how we ended up working with um, the mobility motoring program. And that's our way of, of giving something back to Ford for them helping us with our race car. Well, you know, there's a lot of folks sitting out there in rehab hospitals all around the country thinking, oh, I'm never going to get out there again, and they could go and see Carol racing this Ford Mustang. I think it's going to be fantastic. They can dream and be out here with you. Uh, I, I hope that uh, that it gives people hope for what they can do because that was one of my primary concerns when I was first injured was am I going to be able to drive again yeah. and so this is definitely something that you know makes the days a bit brighter.